Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Motors and Blowers. Really hot here in New York, man. Just got this package from uh, Amazon guy and it's the Ico Quack Multimeter. Ico Quack. How do you come up with the names? Anyway, so it's a digital multimeter. Uh, as you guys know from my channel, I have this very simple multimeter that you get for free from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. I've been using this. It, uh, all I do is I measure the voltage on batteries as well as the ohms for ignition coils and magnetos. I don't know how to use any of the other functions. There's like uh, 50 different other electronic functions which I don't understand on multimeters, but either way, it works. It was free, but today I got this from... <laughs> Ico Quack. Oh, the names. Why don't you make a name that's easy to remember, easy to pronounce? Nobody's going to remember how to say Ico Quack. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Oh, my God. Go uh, ask a YouTuber to come up with a name for you here in America. Because um, if you guys are figuring this out in China, it just, it's just terrible. User manual. Forget it. I'm not going to use it. Look at that. This is a very fancy multimeter. Look at that. Is that cool? I don't know what any of it does. I mean, it's just so complicated looking, you know what I mean? But either way, ooh, bonus. Comes with batteries. I hate when you get something and they don't give you batteries. So good job that you gave us batteries. It's a nice little carrying case that's a uh, zipper closure and it's got your uh, prongs with the wiring as well as uh, the contacts that you put on here. Uh, two different kinds, I guess. And a screwdriver. I'm going to put this all together and give it a try. So in the back, I uh, it has a stand, so you can put it on a table or something, right? That's kind of cool. Uh, you open up that screw, and that's where you put the batteries in, put the panel back on again. Uh, you can, looks like you can hook this somewhere, and also it has like this holder where you can uh, put your, put your uh, prongs. That's kind of cool. Um, also, if you look at it, it's volts. That's all I know about is volts. I don't know what that is. I don't know what all this other stuff is. I know that the omega sign is um, ohms, and I use ohms to test uh, ignition coils and magnetos to see if they're good or not. Uh, that's centigrade and Fahrenheit. I don't know why it's a temperature thing there. So I don't know enough about electrical to know what all this other stuff is, right? So, and I don't care. All I want to do is use it to find out what the voltage is on certain batteries, whether or not it needs charging or not, and also whether or not a magneto is good. So that's only what I would use it a multimeter for. Um, this is very fancy, okay? Because I don't know what all that stuff is, and I don't want to know what all that stuff is, you guys, if you know what that stuff is, you, and ex you know exactly what this is about then, right? Whether or not this is a good multimeter or not. I'm just showing you what's available out there. Now look push that button and it's a uh, backlit display see that's very cool also if you keep your finger on here there's a little flashlight led flashlight so that you can see that's very handy so it takes uh two triple a batteries and uh i mean i think it's a pretty good quality i mean it's rugged you know what i mean it's not cheap plastic it's like abs plastic uh it, it feels very rugged you know you throw this around it would be okay and you turn it off. Let's test it on a battery. So here we go. I've got a bad battery here. I know this is bad, so we'll just test it, okay? We'll put it on volts. And this is so you guys can see. Can you see? 
So let's do positive and negative. And we're getting 8.47 volts. Here's a AGM battery, and I know this is good. It's positive. Yeah. This is positive, this is negative. And that's 12.23. Can you see that? 12.23 volts DC. So that's how that works. Let's try a magneto. Here I've got a lawnmower magneto ignition coil. I'm not sure about uh, if it's good or not. But anyway, if it's over 2.5, right, then it's supposed to be good. Wow, that's really good. Look, it's uh, 4.9. So that's a very good batter, uh, very good magneto. Yep, 4.9 consistently. Now, if you look at the tip here, see how small that tip is? And it's kind of hard to get into certain holes. This comes off so that the prong is like a needle. So that's, they thought of everything. That's very good. Very cool. I'm trying a second magneto just to make sure and test and see if it's all consistent. 4.8. Okay, so there you go. This is also a good magneto too with different readings. So, you know, works just fine. I just don't know what the rest of the stuff is for and I don't want to know because I'm not an electrician. It also comes with this. It's like another wire that you can stick in there with one wire that's just like loose, whatever. I don't know what it is, and I don't know what, I don't want to know what it is. You electricians know what it is. So as long as you guys know what it is, that's what's important. So, um, very fancy multimeter, too fancy for me, for what I do. You know, because all I do is check the voltage and maybe test ohms, but I don't, I don't need anything else on here. So this this item is too fancy for me, but either way, a very good item. It's rugged, it, it seems very strong, has all the functions, LED light, as well as a backlit detailed LCD display. Uh, and it takes, like I said, two AAA batteries, which is good because it takes regular batteries, not the crazy quarter size one. The name is terrible. The name, the name of this, Icoquak. I don't even know if I'm if that's Icoquak. It's a terrible name. Nobody's gonna ever remember that name. But it's pretty cool. Uh, nice digital multimeter. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys, you electricians who know what this is about, um, want one. It's not very expensive. Very reasonable. Um, so go check it out. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's weekend product review. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey y'all, it's Kylie here and we'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.